Hi everyone, this is Geraldine with the new upgrade for the 15,000. Uh, this is the box. It says on here, Memory Craft 15,000 Quilt Maker Accessory Upgrade Kit. Kit contains a ruler, work foot, QR, a variable zigzag open toe foot, QZ, a quarter inch seam without the guide, a darning foot, open toe for doing free motion work, embroidery foot P, which is the one we use for doing our embroidery, a USB flash drive with the software updates, that's for the machine and for Horizon Link, professional grade foot, which is pretty much a straight stitch foot and a quarter inch foot all in one, with a needle plate to go with that and a bobbin cover which they call the hook cover professional grade needle plate uh, hook cover the presser foot holder so the holder that holds your normal feet the shank and some installation instructions now a couple of these feet we already have so down here it says any version of the memory craft 15,000 prior to 2.11 must be updated first. Failure to update can result in a malfunction. So you need to make sure when you turn on your machine in the first two seconds that welcome window comes up. It tells you what version your machine is. So you must be 2.11 before you can do this update. Please change the pressure. Um, please change the pressure foot holder and embroidery foot from the previous version. So your pressure foot holder, which is your shank, which is this one, has been replaced, and foot P, which is the one you use for doing embroidery, is to be replaced. Now my understanding is that um, leaving these on is going to affect whether the needle threader would work or not. Um, it's best to take them out if you're doing the upgrade and talk to your dealer about that. Maybe he will take them back or maybe you'll just put them in another place. But it's best to completely take them out of your stack so you don't accidentally choose the wrong foot. It says here the automatic needle threader may not work properly if the presser foot holder and embroidery foot have not been changed. So what's in the box? I just told you didn't I? <laughs> okay this is what's in the box. The instruction kit which tells you um, basically what some of the feet do. It shows pictures of the machine screen and in the back it gives you the instructions on how to do the update and what will happen when you do that process. But I'll do that process. I'll upgrade mine on camera so that you can see. So in here We have a USB stick and a bag of goodies. So let's look at that. Bag of fun, I think. Wow, oh, I can't open it. There we go. So here's our new embroidery foot, P. I'll have to compare with the other one to see if there's much difference. This is our new um, straight sewing quarter inch foot that goes with the new plate. It's, um, it's got its own shank and it has the quarter inch foot markings on it as well.
Well, how about that? Someone got two P foots. Well, that's interesting. Uh, this is the um, quilting foot. This one is QR. So this is the foot that you would use to do the ruler work and it's much deeper on the side here because you're going to butt it up against um, a quilting ruler and the rulers are the same thickness as this foot so you don't accidentally go over. So that's that one. Next is the QZ foot. So this is for stitching and doing the variable zigzag free motion. And it has a very wide um, cutaway opening in the front there. This is our open toe pogo stick. So we do have one of these now, which looks like this. So this section here between the red lines on this one is cut away and that makes it easier to see when you're stitching where you're going. So next we have another O foot which is the quarter inch foot without the black guide on the side. Now there's been a lot of controversy about that. Some people like the guide, some don't. Um, where you're sewing triangular pieces and you have little um, bits sticking out from your seam allowance, with the guide on it can affect how the machine sews past, but with this you can just sew straight through and it won't get caught up in anything. So you could use either or. And then this is the new needle plate and the cover to go over the needle plate. So uh, looks much the same as the other one. Has a large HP here to distinguish it between your other needle plates, but the hole is set to the left. So the needle hole here. So when you be using this needle plate. You need to set your machine to the needle in the left hand position and there's a single hole. Now if you are doing piecing and you use a single hole plates where the needle goes down it just stops all your fabric going down the hole with the needle as opposed to like when you're using the 9mm plate. So that and that foot would be used together. So that's what's in the box. Now, the U, oh, firstly, you can go to the Janome Global website and look at their bulletins and it will allow you to print off all the information that comes with the kit. So as well as that, it gives you the part number, it gives you the foot, so the rule work QR foot, this has been developed especially for carrying out ruler work. Um, quilting guide templates along the edge of the foot to create curves and repetitious patterns. Depending on the shape of the quilting template, the V-shape gap in the foot enhances visibility. Now if anyone out there hasn't seen a the ruler work or the how they work. I have some quilting rulers here to show you. These are not mine because I haven't uh, done a great deal of ruler work. I really find that for the most part I can do what I want to do without them. But there's various templates, if I hold them up maybe you could see better, of different shapes and sizes. Now these are from a company in Australia called Westerly. Uh, Westerly 
do create um, a whole range of different lures. Now on the side, here on some of them, there's a little piece and it's taped. So if I just take the tape off, okay. There's a little piece here, it just looks like a jigsaw puzzle. There you go, it fell out. So you can see then it creates this gap here. Now that's so that you can get the foot in past the ruler. Once it's in there, you put the jigsaw puzzle piece back. Could be easier said than done. Turn it around the right way. Oh, there we go. That's why the tape is there, I guess. And with the jigsaw puzzle piece back in, you're then able to have your foot in there. And if I, hopefully, you can see this keep my fingers out of the way. The foot on your work is the same width as the ruler. So the idea is that you can quilt around the shape without jumping over the ruler and wrecking your needle. So you simply place this on your work, on your bed in here. And then you could quilt around. Now with some of these shapes, there's a hole here where you can put a pin. So you would pin this onto your work, create this shape, and then move your template around and create another one and another one and another one and then you would have created maybe something that looks like a flower with lots of petals and the pin mark is here. There's different lines going in different directions so depending on which you choose um, you'll get this shape. So that's what the quilting um, foot, the ruler guide foot is designed to work with these. They're not just your standard template. They are designed for doing ruler work. So it's probably, unless you have these, and as I said, they come in all sorts of different shapes. I'm not sure if you can see that with the paper there, but they come in different shapes. This one's just got all these wedges cut out. This is another one, so I'm not sure if these guys they're different sizes. One goes up to looks like 12 inches and the other one is 11 inches. The space between them is different. Then you have something like this. This is um, for doing like large scallops or smaller scallops. It's got grid lines along the edge here so obviously they're reference points so you can move to the next spot. I have one like this which is just a four inch arc and you would stitch that then move it then stitch and then move it so that's roughly, briefly how they work. So what I'm going to do is um, look at the USB stick and save that to my computer and update my machine. You can go to the Genomi Global website, as I said, and print off all this information. There's a whole bunch of information available on there to print down. Um, it's probably not going to give you any more information than you already know, but it might be something you'd like to do um, to have as a reference. 
So I'm going to put my USB stick in the computer and download the update. There is one important thing with the update is we need to make sure before we put the USB stick into the machine that we remove any favourites that have been saved in our stitch favourites. So I might just set that up and we'll come back and I'll show you how to do that.